bear was just so, so excited. He was crying, like to let him out, but we wanted our bunny to contract on his own terms. The next morning, Mighty Smalls comes to the edge of the pen and bear looks at me, like, do you see this? A week later, I saw him sleeping next to bear. That was the moment. I knew this is going to be a really beautiful friendship. When Bear and Mighty Smalls meet in the morning, it's very gentle. Once Bear is laying down, Mighty Smalls will hop towards him and give him a bunny hug. And sometimes Bear will give him little kisses on his ears and his hair standing up like a mohawk. Super cute. Their relationship is about enjoying things quietly in each other's company. They don't speak the same language, but they still are able to communicate with each other and enjoy the little things. I call them small delights. Mighty Small's love language is trust bunnies. Usually it's sit where they can see two exits to run away and they don't sleep deep in the wild, but this bunny has a huge amount of trust and knows that he can be safe around this dog. They found respect for each other themselves, and we let that happen in a supervised way. Mighty Smalls loves napping and sharing snacks, and Bear speaks both those languages with him. He lets him cuddle without making too many movements, and he will share a snack with him in the most gentle way without taking too much. One time, we went to this apple orchard and there was one apple that Bear sniffed and held in his mouth. So I brought it home, I washed it, and then they were both sitting on the screen porch and Bear waited for Mighty Smalls to have the first few bites. It was just so beautiful and heartwarming. He picked the apple and then he brought it back to share with his friend. Every time something like that happens, it makes me feel like, how can I get anything done in this house? This is just so adorable.